Hi, I'm Christine McKay with Northridge Publishing, and we have Lisa McDonald here with us. She is the assistant editor for Bead Trends Magazine, and I wanted you to stop by and tell us a little bit about the January issue. Right off the top, gorgeous cover as always. Oh yes, I love this cover. Um, one thing I love about this is the, the little clock that she has in the background here, and just the coloring. Um, this piece is called Ice by Denise Yesbackmore, and it just, the coloring and the crystals there just bring out the the flavor and the temperature of, of January. I love, and it does, because, you know, the January issue, and it does, it looks like uh, like ice and snowflakes. That's kind of what you think. So, love the cover. Tell me a little bit about the designer highlight for this month's issue. Okay, well, this month, um, the designer highlight, her name is Lorelei um, Yurto, and she has this piece here that we've that she sent in, and it's a little bracelet and earring set. Um, I love it because she combines different elements. She has some ceramic beads and um, some lampwork beads. My favorite is this little bird bead at the front here. This Which little ceramic I bead. think is adorable. I think that this just totally just brings the whole project together. That's my favorite. And I love the little earrings. They're very simple, but I love the kind of pale blue color, and she uses some little peanut seed beads. Great, perfect. Okay, so tell me a little bit about Jewel School. Now, I have to be honest, I am a new um, jewelry maker. I'm just barely learning. And that is mo one of my favorite sections to turn to because I always learn something new. So what did you guys feature this month? Well, this month we featured felted beads. And the great thing about the Jewel School is it gives a step-by-step -step process of how to make something that you've never make made before. And they have instructions and pictures for each step. Um, with the felting, you actually um, will get a, some wool roving like this, and um, through the process of felting, it's like taking moisture and heat and pressure, and the fibers of this wool will actually shrink and bind together to make a bead, like this one here. So basically, this is just some raw wool, and, and you just form it into this shape. Because I'm feeling this, and this feels really, um, Really hard. Is there a form, like a circle form inside of it? Nope. You actually just will t p t uh, rip off a piece. This is kind of in a strip, and you just kind of fold it together into a ball shape, and you dip it down into a bowl of hot water with some dish soap. And as you kind of pat it together, the process of felting takes place. And then it, you end up with you know rolling it between your hands. So that gives you the pressure, and it takes about 10 to 15 minutes, and it will firm up like this. That is the coolest thing because this real. I mean, it is completely stable. It's not going to lose its shape, and you genuinely have a custom bead. Yep. Um, love That's it. Great. So show me um, one of the projects that, that one of your designers used okay. with that process. Well, one of the designers, her name is Kathleen Lang Click, and she sent in this piece here, and it combines um, some square jasper beads with um, the wool felted beads. And I love the felted beads because they can come in any color, and you can actually make them different sizes. You can see she, here she has some small beads and some bigger beads, and, um, and then you can combine them with any other um, type of bead um, to make your project. This comes from the all mixed up section in this magazine. And tell me what kind of projects am I going to find in the all mixed up section? Well, it's taking kind of some unusual things and some regular beads and putting them together to make your own custom piece. And um, they, you can use ribbon or fabric or you know, th this type of thing here shown. So it's kind of like the, the no rules section. You can kind exactly. of just mix and match any element. Yep. That's a lot of fun. I love this. I love learning new things. So tell me, for those crafters out there that just want to have a quick sit down project, do you have anything for them? Of course, in the Bee Trends, they have um, complicated projects and simple. This one here is by um, Susan Kennedy and it's called Summer. And it just takes, it's ta she's taken some really simple beads, just bright colors that I love. Um, these are um, porcelain teardrop beads, and just, um, she has a little bead cap and then some little check glass beads here. That is gorgeous. I probably wouldn't have thought to put the orange and the turquoise together, and that is beautiful. It's yeah. absolutely stunning. I love it. And a quick sit down project. So this, this is one that I'm, I might make. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so were there any, um, uh, favorites that, that really caught your eye this month? Well, one thing I love about um, the Bee Trends magazine is the photography. I love to work on the magazine because it's just such beautiful colors and layouts. And um, this month, my favorite photo in the book was a, was one um, by, a uh, by a designer named Debbie Goering, and it's called Kelvy Mac. And um, it's also from our All Mix Set Up section. And you can see she's combined some a recycled piece of sari silk ribbon, and then she has a, a polymer clay pendant. It's, she calls it the dandelion pendant. 
that. I love that. That is gorgeous. And I, I really like the idea of the all mixed up section, um, the silk and the beads and the polymer, and it just created a beautiful piece. And I, and like you said, the photography is absolutely gorgeous. And, and you can check out all of that in, in every each and every issue that we have. Um, Lisa, thank you so much for stopping You're by. You're welcome. It's great to I, be here. I love the concept of, of just beads in general and, and making wearable art. I just think it's amazing. To check out um, this month's issue, simply go to any um, local craft retail store, or better yet, go to northridgepublishing.com and order your subscription today.